Hello, third grade friends. Welcome to our lesson today on the Southeast region. So we have gone through lessons to learn about the land, the water, climate, and then the products and natural resources that we get from the Southeast. Remember, we're looking at these 12 states here in the Southeast of our country. Today, we're gonna to learn about the landmarks and the culture of the Southeast. At the end, you will be answering some true false questions about the landmarks, so be listening to these answers as we talk. The first statement is, the sunny climate of the Southeast attracts tourists from all over the world. The second statement says, people travel to South Carolina to visit the Kennedy Space Center. All right, I am in my book on page four. I'm looking at the landmarks section. I also have a pencil or highlighter to mark some things. Here we go. The sunny climate of the Southeast region makes it a popular vacation spot for tourists each year. You might wanna note that sentence. People from all over the world travel to the Southeast. Some come to golf and swim at the beach. Others celebrate Mardi Gras in Louisiana or listen to country music at the Grand Old Opry. Tourists can also enjoy the rides at several theme parks, including Disney World, SeaWorld, Busch Gardens, and Universal Studios. Graveland, the home and gravesite of Elvis Presley, located in Tennessee, gets many visitors each year too. I'm looking at the columns below on the left. People also love to visit Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Might wanna make a note of that. The KSC or Kennedy Space Center has been used for every NASA human space flight since 1968. Visitors can see artifacts and exhibits on the history and the future of space flight. The Outer Banks in North Carolina and Kitty Hawk, where the Wright brothers first flew, are also popular tourist attractions. In the second column over, settled in 1656, St. Augustine is the oldest permanent European settlement in North America. A fort was built to defend Florida against pirates hunting the Spanish treasure fleet. The Castillo Se de San Marcos is the oldest masonry fort in North America. It is made of a mix of mortar and coquina, which are fossilized crushed shell stone. And both of those are on the other coast of Florida from us. In Atlanta, Georgia, people can visit the world of Coca-Cola, a museum all about Coca-Cola. In one of the exhibits, you can taste over 60 different kinds of Coca-Cola from around the world. The museum gets over 1 million visitors a year. And later this week, you can take a virtual field trip there. The Georgia Aquarium is the world's largest aquarium. It holds 8.5 million gallons of water and more than 500 different kinds of marine animals, including four whale sharks, four beluga whales, 11 bottlenose dolphins, and four manta rays. The aquarium is the only facility in the U.S. to house whale sharks, the largest living fish species. And again, later this week, you will get to take a virtual field trip to see some of the animals at the Georgia Aquarium. Now let's talk about the culture. Culture is the food, the activities that people do in our history, and the types of music that come out of the Southeast. At the end of our lesson, you will answer two questions on the culture. One is, there are not many types of food served in the South. And the second is, many kinds of music became famous in the South. Let's read on to find out if these are true. I'm on page five in my reading. Food. 
The South is known for its wonderful types of food. If you travel to the South, you can expect to find lots and lots of fried chicken. Many people in the Southeast enjoy eating grits for breakfast or with fried catfish for dinner. Sweet tea, boiled peanuts, barbecue, hush puppies, corn on the cob, and collard greens are all other foods eaten in the South. In North Carolina and South Carolina, Hop and John, a mixture of rice and black eyed peas flavored with salt pork, is a favorite food. Louisiana is famous for its Cajun and Creole dishes. Gumbo, a stew made with okra, seafood, and sausage seasoned with sassafras and bay leaves, is a popular dish. Jambalaya is another traditional dish made with chicken, sausage, and seafood served over rice. Friends and family often get together for a crawfish boil. Crawfish are boiled in a large pot with corn on the cob, potatoes, sausage, and spices, and then dumped on a newspaper covered table to be eaten with hot sauce, lemon juice, and melted butter. So up here on the top is a picture of collard greens, cornbread, Hop and John, and grits. And over here on the right are some crawfish with the corn on the cob. So as you can see, there is lots of food that comes out of the Southeast region. Coca-Cola started in the South. In 1865, Dr. John S. Pemberton, a pharmacist in Atlanta, Georgia, created what would become the most recognized and popular soft drink on earth. Coca-Cola was first bottled in 1894 in Vicksburg, Mississippi. Before that, Coca-Cola was only sold from soda fountains. All right, what do we like to do here in the South? Southerners use their ocean and rivers for recreation. Swimming, fishing, and boating are popular water sports. People here also use the ocean and rivers for transportation. Many port cities have grown up along the coast where rivers reach the sea. One of the busiest port cities is Miami. That's in Florida. Miami is located near the southern tip of Florida. The port of Miami is also home to many cruise ships. Each year, more than 3 million people leave Miami on cruise ships for vacations at sea. No wonder Miami is also known as the cruise capital of the world. And here is a picture of cruise ships and over here on the right, container ships, which hold materials coming in and out of the country at the Port of Miami. NASCAR racing also began in the South. Spectators can see cars racing at over 200 miles an hour at race tracks in Talladega, Alabama and Daytona Beach, Florida. Many Southerners also enjoy watching football, People can play golf almost year-round because of the mild climate. Other popular sports are fishing, soccer, and baseball. In New Orleans, people enjoy celebrating Carnival during the 12 days leading up to Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras, or Fat Tuesday, is the Tuesday 47 days before Easter. Visitors enjoy catching beads, cups, and Dublin's thrown from floats during the 70 parades. The parades are filled with floats, dance groups, clowns, and marching bands. Other Mardi Gras celebrations are held in Mobile, Alabama, and Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And here is a picture of a Mardi Gras parade and the types of clowns. Another popular tradition during Carnival is the king cake. 
King cake is made of braided pastry laced with cinnamon. It is always iced in the Mardi Gras colors of purple, green, and gold. Hidden in each king cake is a tiny plastic baby. The person who finds the baby must buy the next king cake. All right, the Southeast is also known for its music. The Southeast region has given this country many kinds of music. Bluegrass is the traditional music of people who live in the Appalachian Mountains. Bluegrass is played on banjos, guitars, and fiddles. Louisiana is known for the creation of jazz music. African American musicians living near New Orleans created this style of music. The best known jazz musician is probably the great trumpet player, Louis Armstrong, which this is a picture of him here. The Mississippi Delta region is the birthplace of another type of music called the blues. Sometimes slaves would sing about their sorrows. These sad songs became known as the blues. The Southeast region is also home, the birthplace of country music, which is a blend of the bluegrass and blues music. Wow, we have sure learned a lot about the Southeast region. I can't wait to see you next time for the next region we're going to learn about.